Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to reset the entire registry permissions back to default. Now this is really important because there's a lot of malware doing the rounds at the moment and uh, what happens is the permissions get changed quite a lot with uh, malware and also other types of infections and it can be really difficult to try and correct. So I'm going to show you a little method that you can use to reset the whole permissions of the registry back to defaults. So we're going to be using a free tool which is from Microsoft itself and uh, you can get it from this website here. I will put the link in the description there. It's a small download and you just need to install that. And what we're going to use is a bat file in conjunction with this and run some commands and that should fix a lot of the registry permissions. So let's get started. Now the first thing that's important is to make a backup of your registry before you start and also make a, a clone of your drive. Now if you don't know how to make a backup of your registry I'll quickly go through it with you. You need to go to the start of the all button here. Type uh, type reg edit down the bottom and then open up the registry and then what you want to do from here is come up to file and export and you want to export that call it what you want back up rename it back up here and then click save and you can see my one is actually already inside my documents that's very important and if you want to make a, a clone of your drive you can also do that with Windows as well you just need to go back down to the bottom here type backup and you should see something called backup and restore and you can create a system image and then you can uh, either put it onto a, a separate hard drive which I would advise you to do uh, or you can create um, DVDs it'll be quite a lot of them so I'd advise you to make an image like that and then go next and go through the uh, motions there it's pretty straightforward okay now we've got all that bit out of the way what we're going to do is install the program just going to go through here and as you can see it's going to go into my C drive programs folders uh, pro programs files windows resource kits and then tools that's the location by default I'm going to leave it there and it's going into my C drive so I'm going to go install now user account control say yes and then finish okay so what we've got here now is I said we're going to be using a bat file and as you can see here I've got a fixed registry uh, permissions bat file already on my desktop and I'll show you what it looks like and this is the actual uh, commands that we're going to be using okay in this file and I will put these uh, on the screen or in the description so you can actually copy these and put them into a bat file all you need to do is paste these into a notepad and then save it as dot bat okay or you can save it as a cmd command if you want okay well, either way anything will work there okay so for simplicity here um, we're just going to quickly copy this and put this into our C drive programs uh, files we want to come down to the actual location that we just installed there which was the Windows resource kits and then inside tools and you want to actually paste that inside here as well okay okay and that lives in there as you can see fixed registry permissions okay so what we want to do now is I'm going to close this off or go back I should say to my tools folder so this is the location we're actually back to the programs files here I'm going to go inside here and go back to that location just in case you got confused there and uh, what I want to do here is hold the control key or the shift key I should say down on the keyboard and then right click on tools and this is going to allow me to open up command window here once we've done that as you can see we are in this location now and all you need to do here is type out the actual bat file that was inside that tools folder okay so mine was fix underscore and then permissions dot bat 
Now whether yours is .bat or uh, .cmd, whatever it is, and then what we need to do here is push enter, and you can see it's doing a load of stuff here, and that's going to reset the actual permissions back to default. Now you can use this method on um, tools like D7, they've got this built into it. There's a couple of failed ones there as you can see. Now you also, it's best to try and run this as administrator as well, if you can, if you're having problems, try to right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. Now this does take some time, it will keep jumping from one to the other, it does take some time. So just let it run. And you'll see it here doing certain areas of the uh, registry. It's in the root section now. now. This is a great way of fixing malware issues that have, have done uh, permission changes to your registry. It's not 100% foolproof. It won't always fix every single uh, problem. I've had where it's failed before but it's worth a chance as you can see here it's now doing local machine as I said what you gotta realize is you know, this will all depend on the speed of your computer as well how long this takes and obviously the size of your registry okay so that's now completed and as you can see here, it will give you some information uh, on your system. If you go back, you'll see there will be some other information here that you can take note of. You can save this to the notepad if you wish. But in general, that's pretty much uh, how you set your permissions back to default. I'm going to close that off. And you could uninstall this program if you wanted to, but it's always handy to have there. But it's a great way of uh, fixing um, permissions inside your registry, and it's pretty safe to do. Uh, if if you was going to nuke and pave anyway, it's going to be the first thing I would do before I decided on nuking and paving the system. Okay, so I hope this has been some use to you. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also, rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks again for your support. Bye for now.